Hello everyone, welcome to Thyrus Web Development Tips and Tutorials. Today's video, we're going to see how to install the latest version of Tailwind CSS, which is 2.0, as per recording this video, using Post CSS. Now, if you go to the documentation and start learning, you will see the integration guides for Next.js, Vue, Laravel, and so on. But if you're not using any framework and you want to install Tailwind, it says installing Tailwind CSS as a post CSS plugin. But these instructions are not very clear, which is why I will show you how to do it. Let me open terminal. Let's cd into desktop and create a new folder. MKDIR, Tailwind CSS, post CSS, cd into it. And let me open this in Visual Studio Code. That's the recommended code editor for Tailwind. Let's open a terminal here. And let me create a package, npm init minus y, with all the default options. We have our package.json file. Now let's install Tailwind. npm install Tailwind CSS and we also need auto prefixer. So, auto prefixer. Once this is done, we also need to install post CSS CLI in case you don't have it. Let's install post CSS CLI. npm install post CSS CLI. This is done. So in your package.json file, now you will see that we have auto prefixer, post CSS CLI, and Tailwind CSS. Now let's create the configuration files required by doing npx tailwind css init dash p. So this will also create the post CSS config file along with tailwind.config.js. So you see, we have our tailwind.config.js and also the postcss.config.js with tailwind CSS and auto prefixer. Now let's create some folders for development. Create a public folder with your, with your index.html and uh, styles.css, which will be the distribution style sheet. Let's also create a source folder and a styles.css within this. So this will be the one that we edit. We can close up the styles.css because this is not something that we will be editing. This will be generated by Tailwind. So close this. And within the styles.css, we need to copy these because this is a custom style sheet. Now let's go to package.json file and remove this. Instead, let's have a build script. You can also call it build CSS. That's up to you. Build using post CSS and the source file here is going to be source slash styles.css and output it to public folder slash styles.css. So that's all we need to do. And if you hear say npm run build, this, this will make sure that all the styles here will be processed and put it into the styles.css here. But let's have some HTML so that we know it works. Tailwind CSS. And then let's have a h1 tag with font bold and maybe text indigo 700 saying hello tailwind css and also maybe text for excel okay we have to link our style sheet that's the most important here 
which is styles.css in the same folder. Now great, let's do npm run build and we will see if this works. So looks like it's done. Let's open up this index.html for which I'm going to install live server. This is optional, but it helps in development. So now I can say live server public folder. Yes, so you see that we have our H1 styled using Tailwind CSS. You can inspect element and see that the text, text 4XL, font bold, everything has got applied. Great, so now we know how to install Tailwind and set up using Post CSS, but what about our style sheet? If you look at this style sheet and Look at the information you will see that it's 3.9 mb in size that's obviously very huge fortunately we can reduce the size a lot more using perch css and for that we just need to go to tailwind.config.js file we just need to let this know where our tailwind classes are used so it can remove all the unused classes for this Let's say content and then public. So this will make sure that all the HTML files within the public folder recursively will be checked for Tailwind classes and made sure that all the unused CSS is removed. So now we need to do this only in production and Tailwind helps us do that. We have to go to package.json and let's add another script, which is production, or you can call it prod. So copy the same thing. Only here you need to set the node env to production. Everything else is automatically taken care. If you're using Windows, you might encounter an error saying node env is not recognized. For that, you need to do npm install win node nv. This will fix the issue. Since I'm using Mac, let me not do this. All right, so this should work. Let's just do npm run prod. Let me save the file first. Yes, npm run prod. And now let's see. Let's open up this file. And now you see it's just 12 KB. So just before pushing your code to production, make sure that you do npm run prod and you're all set. Go and make amazing websites using Tailwind CSS. Thank you for watching. Hit a like and share this video ahead. If you enjoyed watching this, don't forget to subscribe below and turn on the notifications so you won't miss a single video from Tyrus.